Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This time around, we're gonna be covering Kuvaliches for 2021. A much needed update to the original How to Destroy Kuvaliches video that's become pretty obsolete. But before we get into any of the new stuff, a couple of disclaimers so you guys know what to expect from this video. I won't be delving into Warframe builds and loadouts, if anything those will be separate videos and actually, as a matter of fact, I do have a playlist put together consisting of some pretty good lich hunting builds that are probably still relevant. I mean, I can confirm Monaro still works, so if you'd like that, please check the description for links. I also won't cover minor details like lich abilities and quirks, if you'd like to know more, I'll leave a link to the relevant Warframe wiki page down in the description and also timestamps, you'll find them in there too. I'll begin by summarizing the entire Kuvalich system into three steps. Step 1. Mercy killing a Kuva Larveling. Step 2. Setting up the Parazon and farming Murmurs. Step 3. The final battle on Saturn Proxima. And before we even get to step 1, here are the requirements you'll have to meet before the game would even allow you to mess around with liches. So on to step 1, to generate a Kuva Lich, you must first locate and mercy kill a Kuva Larveling. Simply begin any mission with level 20 and above enemies that utilizes a Grenier tile set. Uranus does not apply, but that one Crossfire Exterminate mission on Lua does. Here's a list of missions where you'll be able to get a Larveling to spawn. Take note, your screen will flash at some point during the mission indicating a potential Larveling spawn, but that doesn't mean it's guaranteed. You're actually required to kill at least 10 enemies under 1 minute as soon as you see that flash in order for the Larveling to spawn. Once the Larveling has spawned, simply head towards the red marker on your screen and fire away. After incapacitating it, you will have 30 seconds to perform a Mercy Kill. Take your time, of course, to inspect the weapon preview or icon that is displayed over the downed larveling. This is the weapon that your potential lich will wield and it comes with a bonus element. That bonus element is dependent on the progenitor warframe, or the warframe that you use to stab the larveling with. Here's a quick visual reference to all of the available elements and the corresponding frames. Once you have successfully mercy killed the Kuva Larveling, head for extraction and then watch a little cutscene back in your ship featuring the freshly generated Kuva Lich. You can now access a screen or menu for Lich stats by hitting escape to go into the main menu and then clicking on this icon here right next to the Nightwave banner. Your personal Kuva Lich will be rendered in juicy high detail here and you'll be able to confirm if it spawned with an Ephemera. Which Ephemera you end up with though depends on the project Warframe as well. Here's another cheat sheet to make your life easier. The entire left hand side of the screen displays the Lich's weaknesses, resistances, as well as other info like quirks if available. The right hand side contains a useful visual representation of past mercy attempts and revealed requiems. If you don't know what requiems are, I'll try to summarize here. The only way to truly defeat a Kuvalich is to perform three successful mercy attacks in an encounter without fail. But in order to perform a mercy attack, you must have equipped your pair on with special mods called Requiem Mods. These can be acquired from Requiem Relics. There's a total of 9 Requiem Mods in the game right now, but you will only need 3 for taking down a Lich. Which 3 you'll need is entirely dependent on RNG. You can get really lucky with your first encounter by having the right Requiem Mods in the right sequence, or you could just farm enough Murmurs or Requiem Hints to unveil the required Requiems to better your chances. Think of Murmurs as a sort of Requiem Essence that you need to collect by mercy killing special enemy units called Kuva Thralls. How much you have and need for each Requiem to be revealed will be indicated by these three visual rings that appear on the top center of your screen as soon as you've mercy killed a Thrall. Hopefully all that was somewhat understandable, it'll make more sense in game, I promise. Again, if you'd like a much more detailed explanation, the Warframe wiki does a good job. Otherwise, all you'll need to make sure before we actually get on with the work of Lich hunting is to mod your weapons according to the Lich's stats and ensure your Parazon has Requiem mods equipped in each slot. Kuvaliches once generated will control specific nodes or planets on the star chart at specific ranks. Your job is to play these lich controlled territory missions and mercy kill as many Kuva Thralls that will spawn throughout to earn murmurs. Your individual lich may also spawn in during any one of these missions, the chances of which are indicated by this rage meter. I gotta say the rage meter kind of feels like an arbitrary indicator that ranges from indifferent to enraged. It will increase or fill up as you kill more and more Thralls. The rage meter will also also reset each time the Lich ranks up. When you encounter a Kuva Lich during a mission and were unsuccessful with your mercy attacks, the Lich will rank up and then flee, leaving you in frustration but with also a significant amount of murmurs for the trouble. At this point, simply wrap up the mission, head back to your ship, and swap out the mod in your Parazon that didn't work out, and then head back out again to hunt. 
If you were successful with your Mercy attack though, the Lich will still flee, but this time to Saturn Proxima instead of the next region in sequence. A couple of quick combat tips, unlike the Sisters of Parvos, Kuva Liches aren't cowards. I believe they still have the ability to blink around you, but getting up and close will mean almost certain death to any experienced player as the Kuva Lich is able to grab you and perform a finisher. They also seem more inclined to jump around and kill you instead of running away. Except if your Lich is afraid of children, which is an unfortunate quirk that hopefully you won't have to deal with. A Kuva Lich can also convert nearby Grenier units into Kuva Thrials every 20 seconds or so, which you can manipulate to your advantage. Murmur Farming is the name of the game. Not literally, but you get what I'm trying to say. With the stabbing and the murmur farming part of the game out of the way, we will now head on over to Saturn Proxima where the Kuvalich will be ready for you on a galleon. You will have to complete some simple objectives before being able to board a said galleon, but once inside you can head straight for the Kuvalich and duel it out. There are no specters or additional steps you'll need to worry about, just focus on taking down that lich. Once the Lich is downed, you'll be presented with a choice of either converting the Lich into a potential ally or vanquishing it into the void, I guess. You'll have 20 seconds to make your decision and the rewards for each course of action are as follows. And that is basically it for Lich Hunting. Rinse and repeat for each available Kuva cool weapon if you'd like, for which there are a total of 19. Or if you're looking for the Ephemeras, I believe there's a total of 7. If you're wondering which weapons are worth getting, then IMO the Kuva Brahma and the Kuva Nucor are must-haves. If you have any questions or doubts you'd like to clear out, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I can't guarantee I'll be able to get to all of them. The only way to guarantee a reply from me personally is joining the Discord server through Patreon, but paying for Warframe advice is kinda ridiculous. You see that channel logo down there? Go ahead and tap or click on that. It'll take you to the channel page. Once you're over there, have a quick look around and if you vibe with the content, please do consider subscribing. If you do actually subscribe, thank you. Also, you might want to hit the bell icon too, because otherwise YouTube gets to decide what videos to stuff into your feed, because YouTube thinks it's smarter than you. Don't let that bot win. There's also a private Discord server you can join through Patreon from just one dollar. That's like what a can of soup costs. And I need many cans of soup every month. <laughs> Not addicted or anything, I swear. I just... Please, help me. You should watch these. They are great.